the basketball court in Old Masset Community Hall is the start of an exciting afternoon early May. We begin with a game time scene. One meter wide, which we view from just one meter away. Now, every 10 seconds, we will look from 10 times farther away. And our field of view will be 10 times wider. This square is 10 meters wide, and in 10 seconds, the next square will be 10 times as wide. Our picture will center on the basketball players, even after they've been lost to sight. 100 meters wide, the distance a hide a canoe can row in 10 seconds. Boats are docked in the marina, and people are roaming the village. This square is a kilometer wide, 1,000 meters, the distance a zodiac boat can travel in 10 seconds. We see Masset Village, an old Masset coming into view. 10 to the 4th meters, 10 kilometers, the distance a supernatural being can travel with ease. In 10 seconds, we see all of northeastern Haidabai and how the wind and ocean currents shape the tip of Nikon Provincial Park. Supernatural killer whales dwell in these surrounding waters. 10 to the 5th meters, the distance an orbiting satellite covers in 10 seconds. We pass through clouds above Haidawai in which cumulus cloud women could be found. A million meters, soon the earth will show as a solid sphere. We can now see the earth and sky realms. We will now travel through the remaining four cosmological layers. After minutes long journey, the earth diminishes into the distance. The background stars are holes in the roof of the celestial house. This line represents the distance light travels in one second, half of the moon's tilted orbit. We can now see the arc of the Earth's orbit around the sun. We can see the orbital paths of our neighbors, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. The sun enters our field of view, said to enter through the front door of the Planck house covering the Earth, leaving through the back door every day. Swinging wide in their big orbits, that strange orbit belongs to Pluto, a fringe of a myriad comets. Pluto travels at a strange orbit at the edge of our solar system. As our solar system shrinks, our sun looks just like the other stars, the holes in the big Planck house. Four southern constellations appear, similar to when seen from Earth. This square is one light year squared. We have yet to reach the next star. We are so far now that the background stars noticeably converge. We finally pass the nearest star Arcturus and some stars at the Dipper. Stars and clouds of gas surround us as we zoom out from the Milky Way galaxy. As we reach the edge of our galaxy, we begin to see its flat spirals. The time and path we chose to leave Haidegui has brought us out of the galaxy, along a course nearly perpendicular to its disk. Those two little satellite galaxies are the clouds of Magellan. 10 to the 22nd power a million light years. Other galaxies help orient us in otherwise endless space. These galaxies might look like stars, but are actually a whole group of stars. A group of galaxies called the Virgo Cluster passes us. We approach the edge of our vision at a hundred million light years out. We have reached the edge of the final layer of the cosmos. The cosmos is vast and feels very empty. And the Haidas are much more interested in the natural and supernatural creatures that inhabit the universe. So let us zoom back to where we started and take a closer look at our Earth. Back at the Massive Basketball Court, we are entering the Salmon's Eye. The window to the soul, past the dermal layer, the sclera layer, the lens, the retina, All layers 
made of cells. Felty collagen, the capillary containing red blood cells in a roughly lymphocyte. We enter the white cell among its vital organelles. The porous wall of the cell nucleus appears. The nucleus within holds the heredity of the salmon in the coiled coils of DNA. As we close in, we, we come to the double helix itself, a molecule-like, a long-twisted ladder whose rungs of paired bases spell out twice in an alphabet of four letters, the words of a powerful genetic message at the atomic scale. The interplay of form and motion becomes more visible. We focus on one commonplace group of three hydrogen atoms bonded by electrical forces to a carbon atom. Four electrons make up the outer shell of the carbon itself. They appear in quantum motion in a swarm of shimmering points at 10 to the minus 10 meters. One angstrom we find ourselves right among those outer electrons. Now, we come upon two inner electrons held in a tighter swarm. As we draw toward the atom's attracting center, we enter upon a vast inner space. At last, the carbon nucleus, so massive and so small. This carbon nucleus is made up of six protons and six neutrons. We are in a domain of universal modules. There are protons and neutrons in every nucleus electron in every atom. Atoms bonded into every molecule out to the farthest galaxies. As a single proton fields are seen, we reach the edge of present understanding that our journey has taken us through 40 powers of 10. If now the field is one unit, then many clusters of galaxies together was 10 to the 20th, or one and 40 zeros.